Hello and welcome to the Liverpool Philharmonic Hall. It's the start of a new year and the beginning of a journey for the 165 teenagers who make up the National Youth Orchestra of Great Britain, the biggest orchestra in the country and, according to the Times, the most uplifting orchestra in the world. Here's today's conductor, Paul Daniel. The orchestra is the National Youth Orchestra, and that is a legend in its own right. But, you know, every year, and particularly at New Year time, a whole new National Youth Orchestra turns up. And this year, almost more than ever, pretty well half the orchestra, 78, 79 young people have come for the very first time. And what's extraordinary, you know, great orchestras have great traditions, but how do they pick it up? It's, in, it's somewhere in the DNA of this orchestra, and even though half of it's never been before suddenly they capture this spark that is the NYO. But then in the playing, to find the level and the concentration and the application and the insight that they all have as young people in, what, what have we had, seven days only of playing together? It's been the most thrilling week. Paul Daniel, who's conducting the orchestra today. Soloist Natalie Klein joins them for a performance of Elgar's Cello Concerto. It's the first time she's played with the NYO since they accompanied her when she became the BBC Young Musician of the Year, playing the same piece. Paul Daniel leads them through an all-English programme. Walton's first symphony ends our concert. But we start with a composer who uses rhythms and sounds perhaps more familiar to the NYO's players than to some of their audiences. James Brown, 1970s jazz funk, the brass group Tower of Power, more than a hint of Beyoncé's single ladies. They're all there in Hammered Out, a short piece by Mark Anthony Turnage that opens our concert. He describes it as a driven, obsessive work throughout. It's a Beethoven idea, he says, of exploring just one thing as far as it can go. But Beyoncé? Well, since the piece was premiered at the proms in 2010, mixes of Turnage's work with Beyoncé's song have appeared on YouTube. He says he included the references because his son love to dance to the song. Well, here comes today's leader, Roberto Ruizzi. The players will certainly have to be on their metal. The dance in the middle, Turnage says, is almost like multi-tracking against a repeating rhythmic pattern. So he says it'll be a great challenge to get tight playing, particularly from the brass, so things don't go awry. A real test, then, to get proceedings underway here. And here comes Paul Daniel to conduct the National Youth Orchestra in Hammered Out by Mark Anthony Turdich.
hammered out by Mark Anthony Turnage, performed here at the Liverpool Philharmonic Hall by the National Youth Orchestra, conducted by Paul Daniel.